Like, bro, just admit I'm better than you. This video will prove 100% without a doubt that suddenly Toast is cheating and it will be someone from his inner circle that will come forward and tell all. I lose the grind, moving time but that shit gone fast Got no idea about how long I last So I lock the door and I work all night But what's it worth if we all gone fight? Still gonna lie to your face and relieve you of anything nice To believe you were equal, they don't wanna try to live right They just wanna free ride, getting by on the backs of the people is evil, man What the fuck are we teaching them? Just free to land Cause we don't own this, nor do you But you acting like you the president of the world Nah, you got buck, please And I'm Jeff Star, puff, puff, please Don't like, pray for me cause I don't believe Unless all you see is that energy I stop, drop, bro Got me washed up, get iron probably rocked up like trying to stop me. Won't be till I'm pine boxing. Got beef by day pigs trying to cage me since age six. Mistakes make oh hell yeah, but you don't see that I ain't came from shit. Compared to some dope, life is good. I got fam that I know, life is good. And we ain't got to deal with what you do, so you're always welcome in my hood, no matter what they say. I hide your way, and when they come to find you, I lie to face. Yeah, I got you, Lord, I love you, gotta help each other. We all are brothers, nothing else gonna hold me down. Gonna let you know just what I'm all about when I get to show you. You in electric crowd, we are all a shine on that solar power All my doubters might do me wrongs, but they'll be thinking my groovy songs When I'm on the stage and I rip the set and I leave with checks and get mad respect Y'all bitch on this, we real as fuck I'm still that boy with these gorilla nuts I slow it down or I can really speed it up, it don't even matter at all I got the rhythm in my blood, it's on my team And if they didn't listen, that's no lie, we Didn't give them wisdom on the spotlight, babe I'm wishing for the best, for the whole damn world Just stop, be free Just stop, be free Don't play with me Just stop, be free Don't, don't play with me So, did you play with him before he joined that competition? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, how long, roughly before that competition, before he got the ban, like, how long had you played with him, like, roughly? Like, in hours or just how many years? Like, how, like how long, like, within, like, you know, days or months or, like, because he joined the streamer competition. Several years couple of years okay yeah so you'd played with him for a couple of years at that point and like what what would you like was would you what was his game player like in general like was he you know was he a good player was he average he, he was he was a decent player um like like at first like when you know when he first started playing tarkov and in, in, if I remember, he told me he started playing Tarkov in like seventeen or eighteen, like early, early days of Tarkov. Um, yeah. He had issues playing because he wasn't used to like the survival type games. Then when I played with him, when I first met him, he he was an okay player, like pretty decent. Gradually getting getting better, but average stats. Still got like the jump scare when people started shooting. <laughs> would always like question who shot what. When you know we were shooting in a different part of the map, so an informant just approached me, and this guy's known Suddenly Toast for a very long time, and he just sent me inboxes from Suddenly Toast, and this is actually Suddenly Toast's Discord account. If you have a look at the date this account started, the date this account is bragging about using Atomic cheats and a, uh, I don't know, squirrel something DMA. What is it? Um, lamb, lamb, lambda squirrel DMA, atomic DMA cheats. If you have a look at the date that this Discord account was actually made, it matches the Discord account made in the, the the same Discord account under Suddenly Toast that runs Suddenly Toast streaming Discord. The exact same Discord account made this comment and said this and sent this to this guy. So this guy is this guy's hundred percent legit. Suddenly Toast sent this guy this message. I I I I 
100% checked before I even spoke to this guy. And this is the account that sent this man this message bragging about using atomic cheats and using a lambda squirrel DMA. Okay, I just got to suddenly toast his Discord and the exact account starting from the exact date. This is the exact account that sent this message without a doubt 100% started this Discord account started on the exact same date. This is the Discord account that runs suddenly Tosa's Discord and is linked to his Twitch. 100% without a doubt, this Discord account sent this message and bragged about using this particular cheat with this particular DMA card. 100% without a doubt. I'm going to go talk to this guy right now because this guy is not lying. This is 100% a message from this Discord account, without a doubt. There's no, there's no two ifs or buts about it. This Discord account sent that message and bragged about using Atomic Cheats on a, a Lambda Squirrel DMA. I don't know what any of that stuff is. I'll have a look into it later. But this guy is 100% legit. 100% the Discord account linked to Suddenly Toast Twitch and to his personal Discord sent that message without a doubt, 100%. Okay, looking this uh, DMA cheat up, Atomic, it is pretty much the creme de la creme of DMA cheats. The soft aim prediction and the visibility is literally spot on. This is... This is literally exactly how Toast is able to achieve the things he achieves in Raid. They've never had a detection once, which explains why he has only ever been manual banned multiple times. And it completely makes sense. This DMA brags about having the, the, the a really, really good soft aim. And also an insane silent aim. The prediction... If you research this cheat, it, it literally, every single thing matches without a doubt. It never had a detection, uh, the most insane soft aim, never, like, this is, this is what suddenly Toast sees on his second monitor when he's playing. This is literally it. Like, this is, this is it. And he would always question, like, when he's looking at us, like, hey, is this you? Um, and then if you compare that to now, <laughs> for some reason, he, he, like, instantly knows, like, hey, that's you. Don't worry about that, you know? So, like, <clears throat> being, like, so you're someone that played with him previously before that stream of competition where he got banned. Yeah. You, so you met him in a Discord and you guys played together for, like, how long roughly was it? Uh, a couple of years. He, a I was, couple of years. Uh, after okay. we met each other on that Discord, I invited him to my Discord, and that's where we played most of the time. And then we played, and then he made his Discord, and then we played on there. So, like, like, so him, him as a player, like skill wise, like, like, what would you? D d what's your general assessment? With, like, so first off, just before we go into it, like, how many hours do you have in Tarkov? What's your like? What's your general like? knowledge with Tarkov, like... I am pretty close to, like, 5,000 hours. 5,000, okay. 5k hours, okay. So, while you were playing with him, like, what's your general assessment of him? Was he, like, how many hours did he have? What was his awareness like? You know, was he fun to play with? Was he... Like, just give me, like... Your oh, he was fun to play with. Um, he was fun to play with uh, when we played together. Uh, pretty chill when we were playing. Um, didn't always team kill, like, some people in, like, in them discords to go play with. He didn't really jump the gun when shooting, so you didn't really have to worry about team kills. Um, uh, just worry about team killing him. Um, yeah. What else? Like, uh, so say, like, for example, like, um, awareness-wise, skill-wise, um, 
all that sort of stuff like you know was he, he was decently decently aware um from watching like other videos on where people normally go was he like but he um, wasn't like super he wasn't like superman spotty on people like he would never catch people hiding in a bush we always died to people camping like that so like f for you to be someone that played that amount of time with him because i know like I i've spent that amount of time like playing with people and it's i'll be honest like when i spend that amount of time playing with people it's not more more so because they're good at the game or it's more so just because i enjoy you know more of a i just enjoy playing with you like kind of thing you know i enjoy your interaction i enjoy the time we have you know is that what it was for you playing with him at the yeah. time was it yeah i enjoyed playing with him um i didn't like, think he used anything at for you know at all to be honest um <clears throat> until he sent me until i asked him you know why he got banned and then he sent me that and yeah so then i kind of just stopped contact with him after that but before that i mean she was someone i played like majority of the time um you can see in the messages that i always ask like hey are you down to play and, yeah yeah or I, if i see him in a voice channel at that you know previously i would just join the voice channel we just all play it'd be like a group of like three or four of us yeah yeah i noticed that, that it's like consistently through wipes it's the same as like you know the same way you'd be with someone that you enjoy playing with it's like you and you know mo in most cases like that person might not even be the best player they might not even be you know someone that carries your group it just it's just might even just be someone you enjoy playing with was he like what was his character in the group was he like the best in the group was he just someone you enjoyed playing with was he like was he an average player but you just enjoyed playing with him because he's were friends or like what was the he's a little above average player but uh we just enjoy playing with him because he always liked to crack jokes yeah um like so what was his like general because, you know, obviously his account now, he's like a, you know, a 20 KD player and all that kind of stuff. Was he on that level? Oh, when... Not even close. <laughs> yeah. Um. Like, what was his general... Like, like the average? Did you ever see... The, his... the average KD through the wipes... Um what he would say he had never shared a screen was averaging between four to seven eight kd average throughout the wipes and i know like, at the, i know in the, at that time in the past it didn't track like you're both scav and pmc so i don't know like uh encoding a scav was before cause back then it didn't track both those together so uh, did you do like all of you guys share your screen or was he the only one that wouldn't he was the only one that would never share his screen. Um, he would always say that his computer wasn't like strong enough to share screen. And then he said that's why he bought a second computer to stream on Twitch. Yeah. But I mean, I was able to stream on Twitch no problem with a single yeah. computer. I, I've, I've literally got an i5 and I had a 1050 Ti graphics card and... I think it was 16 gigabyte RAM. I had an i5, 16 gigabyte RAM and a 1050 when I very first started my channel and started streaming me playing and making videos. Like I had a, like, I was a very below average PC and, and I was managing to stream and play and like, did you like so so all of you guys would be streaming but he would be the only one not yeah i mean we didn't question anything at the time because like dude, that, that was like even whenever he was getting the average kd you know four to eight um i know getting like 10 isn't really that hard to do i mean scabs count now back then the scabs didn't count yeah so like did you see his stats before he entered the streamer competition or no i i didn't uh 
before that streamer competition, I didn't play with him that that wipe at all. I played with him the previous wipe, and then I didn't find out he entered the streamer competition until I saw that video, and I'm like, that's weird. Um, so then I messaged him, asking like, "Hey, did you get banned?" And then that's whenever he he sent that message. Yeah, and that was the screenshot with. Uh, I think it was someone potentially saying, um, no, wait, I think it was pretty much him saying, pretty much him saying he's using a DMA and whatever cheat he was using <clears throat> and. Yeah, he's, he said he, he had, uh, I'm not going to read the beginning of that message because he was thought he, I asked, yo, did you get banned in Tarkov? Then he said, yeah, manly banned. A bunch of large streamers were salty. I'm beating them in a streamer challenge. Um, then after the end of that, he said, but uh, I'm still trying to get unbanned. Little do they know that I am using a Lambda Squirrel DMA with Atomic DMA on Tarki. LOL. And then that's when I sent the message saying, uh, I'm not going to play with him. So like, so if we, so... At the time, like before he before he sent you that, did you, did you have like any any knowledge at all that he up until that point had potentially you know been using cheats or? Oh, I I didn't I didn't suspect anything of him to be honest before that. Um... I never really paid attention to like his his Twitch stream. Like I know I, I lurked on it when we were playing together, um, like the the whole year prior, but yeah. I never like sat there and watched it. Did he have much? Uh, so I never. Did he have much traction on the Twitch before the streamer competition? Uh, I think it was averaging like five to ten viewers at a time. Sometimes it would go up to like twenty. But he always had every, like, all his in-game names was always his Suddenly Toast TTV. So, like, when we played, like, Destiny, people would, like, hop on, say, hey, good game. And then they would just stay and lurk and then give him a follow. And that kind of built his little follower status. Yeah. Um. So, like, because cause I know me, like, I just, you know, with my story, like, I, I've... Like, I played legit for a long time, and then I had teammates that I found out were doing the wrong thing, and I just remember just, just being, like, dumbfounded, like, 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 what? Like, why? Like, and then I remember eventually I, you know, my story is I progressed to trying cheats and, you know, being a bit of a dickhead and a troll with cheats. And, and I remember that, like, at the time, I had guys that I'd played with, especially Tarkov. Like, I I had guys that I had played with for, fuck, like, dude, like, a year. And I remember being, and it's, like, it. I was thinking about this before I called you, and I, like, I, I thought about it, and I was like, I remember being in a call with them, and because I played with them for so long, you know, and, and we were so close, like we, like, I would talk about anything with these guys, like these guys that I would play Tarkov with every night, like, we would just talk about everything, you know, and I just, I just remember getting in a call with them one night and, and I said to them, I was like, oh, you know, I, I fucking, I've been using cheats and I, um, I went and stream sniped this streamer and I flew around in front of him and it was the funniest thing. You guys should have seen it. And I just, I'll never forget like, cause you know, when you play with people online, like when you, you know, it's like, I'll call it what it is. Like when you meet. Yeah. That's what I did back in like, uh, like I sent you a message to battlefield three. Cause I can't even, I can't even play that now. And like, that was like seven years ago, man. Yeah. Um, uh, battlefield three, but I, I used to play with like it. Uh, a lot of people on there on discords on a daily and 
when, when I told them, they didn't really care. They were like, look, it doesn't affect me. I mean, if you use it, that's on you. I mean, just re remember, when you get caught, you can't play the game no more. Yeah. Like, I I just, like, I'll, I'll never forget. Um, there was one particular guy. There was one particular guy. His in-game name was, and he, I feel like, you know, he might probably watch this. He might not, but um, he, I played with this guy for probably nine months, nine to 12 months. And I, I literally met this guy in a, in a labs lobby. We were on the other side of the wall to each other and we were about to fight and, and, um, you know, I spoke to him, he spoke to me and then we had a fight and he killed me and I added him and me and this guy ended up playing together for almost a year. And I remember like almost a year went by and I, I just remember getting into the call with this guy one night and I was like, and I told him, I was like, I, I've been using cheats and, and I just like, I remember his reaction. Like, it was just like, he was just like, he was like, why? Like, why? Like, like, and he, like, it was like, cause, cause I would sit up till literally like 3am with this guy. Like we would play Tarkov till into the sunlight and he's from the same state in Australia as me. Like, so me and this guy, we, we would play like into like the sun would come up and we would play together. And I, and so many nights. And I, I remember telling this guy that I, I tried cheats and it was like, just the most like utter disappointment. Like, and he just like, I can't explain it. It was like, he was just so disappointed. And I just, I, I remember feeling like, wow, like, like, you know, and you know, at the time when you're doing it, like you don't, you know, like you, you make the choice to do it and you do it and, you know, and I just, I remember, and he never, he never ever spoke to me or treated me the same again. And I played with this guy daily for easily at least nine months, you know? And, and I just remember the moment I told him and he was just like, he was, he just like, it was just the most, you know, he just, he, he treated like, he was just like, wow. Like, why? Like, why? You know, and I, I didn't understand at the time. I was, I was like, dude, like, like, what's your problem? Like, it, you know, like, you know, it's just, it's funny. Like, you know, I, I tried to cheat and I did this. And don't you think that's funny? You know, and he was just like, he was so, he was just like, so like withdrawn from me for the first time in so long. And I just, I remember feeling like, like, Wow, like, you know, and like for, for you, you played with him for so long, like, you know, obviously you asked him, you know. Like, like if, the, the reason why I sent that, that message back saying, you know, like, I'm not playing with it anymore, because like, it's different, like, if he was just doing it just to do it, I could give like a rat's ass about that, you know, don't affect me at all. But he doing it for a monetary game. Yeah, like that, that's something that I, I really don't. Yeah, cause I like I read the message and he was like, like you know, he's like, oh, people think that I did this and think that I did that, but the truth is I did this. And then I like your reply was like, you know. Wow. Like, it was kind of like, it, it reminds me of when there's this, like the one guy I just explained to you. It was like, it just reminds me of the reply of that guy. He was just like, and it was just like a heartbreaking moment. Like, I'm sure anyone who's done the wrong thing, you know, like, and you tell, like, and I noticed with your reaction, it was just like, you know, it was very similar. It was just like, like, what like why like you know 
Yeah, because I mean, I even supported his stream too. Like every month, like I'd use my little free, little subscribe thing that you get from Twitch Prime. Yeah, I think that was like another another reason why I reacted that way. Yeah. Um. Did Did you see? Did you like? Did you see any of the like the backlash online from all the stuff that had happened or? No, I know. I know. Sometimes people like still go in his chat and like talk about it, but I mean, I don't. I don't really go into his thing. I, after that, I don't. I don't really just. I try to not look up. Yeah. Like, um. So roughly, like before. Before all the before he told you that he was cheating and all like how long do you reckon you'd spent playing with him? Shoot, probably a good fifteen hundred hours in Tarkov. Like fifteen hours in Tarkov. <clears throat> Several wipes, like four wipes, give or take. Four four wipes. Um like what like if if you could explain like the amount of time you spent playing with him and like what was your like how'd you feel when he the, the moment you got that message and he told you that he was doing the wrong thing like what like how did you feel like what was your thought process can you able to run me through that oh did i felt betrayed as all hell yeah felt completely betrayed on that it's like uh i know there's like no similar it's kind of similar it's like having your kid go go to school and you know getting straight a's and then you come to find out they're not getting straight a's they paid somebody to change their grade you know it's kind of kind of like that feeling with your kid yeah Like, like, four, oh, that's crazy. Like, so you played four wipes with this dude, and like, was he so? Like, like when I like on my channel, like I, I on my channel, I watch his gameplay a lot. Like, he's a twenty KD player. He doesn't make mistakes. He he just, you know, he'd have to be, honestly, I'll just say it how it is. If he was not cheating, he would have to be the best player in Escape from Tarkov right now. Was that? Yeah, he he knows, he knows like, game sense, like, from all the years of playing. He knows, like, all the callouts and all that. Um, I'm pretty, like, since he knows all that and... He knows how to play the game. He knows all the callouts, knows all the areas. With him using, he it's it very easy for someone that's using to hide the fact that they're using because they already know how the game works and everything that makes. Yeah. Um. Like, so when he made you like. So, the screenshot that he sent you, like, you know, basically making you aware, make basically in that moment making you aware that he was cheating. Like, how did you feel after playing with him for so long? Like, what was your thought process? First, I thought he was just trolling when, like, when when he first like said that. I'm like. I don't think that he was. And then, like, I I started looking him up more, and then I'm like, okay, yeah, he... That's why it took me so long to send that reply. It's, like, like the next morning or the next evening that I sent that reply. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, and then I started, like, started looking him up online, see, saw all the, all the other videos that people posted, because the video that I saw 
that brought it to my attention was um it was something on YouTube, but I don't think it was your video, it was somebody else's video saying Twitch streamer gets banned in in tournament. Yeah. Yeah. And it had like the icon of his little Discord icon. Yeah. It might have been like a very bad scab video or Yeah, yeah, very bad scab. Yeah, that that's who yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's the video, yeah. He used to be he used to be pretty active in the like the talk, but he he plays other games now and he's he hasn't really but um, so you looked it up and you seen like all the drama and stuff, and then like, how, like, like what I want to ask you, like on a personal level, like after you played with this guy for so long, and you knew this guy for so long, like on a personal level, once you realised that he was he he transitioned to cheating in the game like what was your outlook uh, in essence of Tarko <clears throat> I thought it was pretty pretty scummy to do it for a monetary game like that um, I mean I know I, I did I didn't do it for monetary gain on Battlefield 3 I just did it just because I was curious like and so, when you did the wrong thing in, in Battlefield Three, like like so, how how many years before was that? Before Jeez, this, that all... was like six years, give or take. Yeah, and like, what did you do? Did you like? Did you Shoot, like? I don't download some like free stuff off of like. I don't remember what the website was called. Like all I did was like Google Battlefield Three, ESP and downloaded it and i think i played like maybe two games and it was my account was blocked yeah and like so being someone that, you know you've made the mistake you're kind of similar to me like you've made that mistake before you've you know you've you've been there like you know what was your thought process when you you know, you looked online and you saw and you and you realized that he had actually been doing the wrong thing and like what was your thought process? Uh, I mean, I don't know, every everyone's kind of susceptible to doing things like that. Um I mean it would be I know it's kind of weird to say, but it'd be different if he if he wasn't streaming and if he was just doing it just to do it, you know. But he was doing it to try to get some clout, try to get get his name up there, try to get not just like small amounts of money, but I mean, if he would have won that tournament and not got banned, then he would probably be up there with all the other top streamers on Tarkov making, I don't even know how much they're making. It is what it is on how much they make, but that, that's how they make a living. It, it would be completely unfair for those streamers that don't use anything that spent the time to actually play the game and get on the level that they're at. Yeah. Um, so basically he tells you and you do a bit of research, you look around, you see that, you know, he was doing the wrong thing and then you reply and say, you know, I don't want to play with you anymore. Um, obviously, you know, like, what, like, what, being someone that has known him and played with him for so long, like, what, like, how did you feel at the time? Like, what was your thought process? Uh, like, like I said, I didn't, I didn't want to believe it at first. Um. <laughs> I don't know. If it was, like... I thought that he just used it just just to use it you know during that tournament 
or or you know just a one time thing. And, and then when I was like looking and looking him up, it kind of put two and two together and was like, oh, he probably been doing this for a hot minute since gameplay styles changed drastically. Um, I mean, as you could tell, whenever he uh, apparently did his little what GoPro on his head or something like that, you could drastically tell the difference in gameplay right there. That's how he used to play. Yeah, when he had that uh, head cam on, that's exactly how he used to play, getting surprised Wait. all the time. Uh, so, did you did so? Did you see my videos or my streams when he had the head cam on? So you actually saw those videos? Yeah, or yeah, I watched those. Yeah, I watch. I watched those. So that's uh, so that's actually his natural gameplay. Yeah, that that's that's how he would normally play when we were all playing. Like how he seemed jumpy, um, searched every every container in a room. Like when we used to play uh, Shoreline, um, the I forgot what key it is. It's one of the little Shoreline keys that has all the computers in. Yeah, he he. We would sit there and argue who's gonna open up that key because you know we know there's a chance for a fucking Bitcoin on the table and and graphics cards and and uh, computers. And you know, he would always get there first and then op open every single computer. Um, he would loot everything, right? Like he would loot because yeah. that's what I noticed. That's what I noticed. I, 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 so I'm someone like on my channel, like you know. I'm someone who's done the wrong thing before. I'm someone who can pick out gameplay that's not, you know, human. And something I noticed with him is he, when when he would play, he would he would go through interchange, and he was like he would his looting path and the things he would loot would just be so like yeah. So when we went to interchange. He would always do the same uh, loot path every time we played, um, regardless of what area we spawned in. Uh, we would always go to one of the two side big stores. Uh, man, I always forget what they're called. Um, yeah, and, and, and I noticed uh, that. He would go in that computer room and loot the computer room, the little uh, storage room behind the computer room. And then we would avoid the scabs in the middle, yeah. uh, run straight to like tech light and all that. And then loot the computers in the middle of the uh, green store, and then hit the key rooms in the back where more and computers are. And then we I, just get out. I noticed that when he put the head cam on, he had the he had the same like looting path, and the same way that he looted was the same way any player would carry themselves throughout a raid. Like he he would loot everything. He would loot the high outcome areas. He would, and I. I, I like I quickly noticed that I was like that's what I would do that's what yeah and anyone we, we would spend like the whole raid in raid like we would wait until like the last six minutes to get out um when when we played on majority of maps especially reserve um uh, we we camped reserve all the time up on, on the uh the dome area and on the rocks yeah but, I mean the games that we did that I mean we, each of us would only average maybe 10 kills. And majority of those kills were all scabs, with some of them being players, if any, before yeah. the uh, underground tunnels became a thing. So something I've noticed, uh, his, his recent... I've, on, like, live on my channel, I've gone over his last couple of streams. He will kill easily between 5 to eight players per round like he will easily 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 kill between five to eight nine players per match easily like he will wipe he'll get killer seven easily per lobby and and, and like and you watch yeah, his see, even landmark will do that i mean i mean there's raids that landmark can do that but he's not going to do that every raid yeah, and, and you you like you'd watch his gameplay and how he, he would move around the map, and it's just like it's like how how are you just dawdling around the map? It's like how are you dawdling around the map, magically spotting people consistently over and over and over, and just consistently 
doing this. Like it, it's not, it's not possible. Like it, it's not like it, you can't do that. Like you get shot in the back, you get snuck up on, you get, you make mistakes like you, but with him, he just, he, he's never wrong. He never makes mistakes. Yeah. He, he never gets yeah. shot. What in the was back. that first? Uh, what was that first uh, nail in the coffin that I saw in a future, future video that somebody posted? I don't remember who? He was on shoreline going upstairs, and then all of a sudden decides to look down a lane at the exact moment that a PMC was in the open on the other side of resort, and I'm like, nobody's gonna see that. Like, yeah. absolutely nobody's gonna see that. Like, so, like, when you used to play with him, would he, like, it, w w did, did he just predict when, like, what was his gameplay like? Would he predict when, was his vision just A1? Did he, so, was he always... So the, on the scavs essence, easily predict where the scavs were, yeah, he would easily predict where the scavs, but I mean, all the scavs... Step, you know, they spawn in the same spot every raid. There, there was no change at the time on where Scav spawn. But PMC wise, no. Um, sometimes, like on on reserve, we always looked up at the rocks because everybody liked to camp the rock. Like the the normal places where people like to camp is where we would look at. But I mean, the random locations that he's looking at now, he would never look look at places like that like was he was he the kind of guy that would like always spot people first was he the kind of guy that would always oh no <clears throat> oh no? uh no no like if, if they were like blatantly in the open running in a field yeah he would say hey i got people running over here let's lock eyes and start shooting them like like what kind of player was he was he like you know, like what, like his stats wise, like his gameplay, was he like above average? Was he possibly the next best player in the game? Was he like. When, when I first started, he was average and then got like above average and then just kind of stayed like that for a while. Yeah. Like, so, like, you know, like. Was he, like, you know, was he potentially an up-and-coming great of the game? Or, like, what, like just give me the rundown. Like, was he... No, uh, I didn't feel like that he... It, it would have been like that. Did, did you ever see his stats? Uh, he never shared screen on the stats, just from what he said. Stats were... Like, was he above average? Was he normal? Was he a good player? Was he, a, you know? He was above average. Yeah. Like, what kind of KD? What kind of, st like, like... From what he would say at the time, uh, kind of hovered around four to eight. So, like, so are you telling me, like, your whole entire, everyone in Discord was stream... Except yeah, he would never stream. He'd all he would always say that his computer couldn't handle the streaming streaming Discord. It would make his game lag. So you, your entire team would stream, but he he would not stream ever. No. Did you ever find that to be weird? Like, did you ever? No, I mean, I I used to not be able to stream until like I upgraded my computer. Um. At least stream at 1080p or whatever. I, I didn't find that kind of fishy. There's several people that I played play with that stream their games, or at least they say they can't. Yeah. Well, well, at the time, like, I mean, I could stream like I, I could stream my game right now, and I'll be completely fine. So I, like, I'm playing single player Tarkov. When he would say he couldn't stream, like, was he always the first person to spot someone? Was he? Like, what kind of... Like no, no. Um, that didn't start start like that until... December 22, January 23? During yeah. that Christmas wipe? Yeah. And then just, like, 
the the wipe when they added uh when they added streets is when that started. Yeah, I think that was the wipe at uh, twenty the edge for twenty two. And then what? Like so? Like when did you marginally notice like a huge increase in his gameplay or any kind of difference in his gameplay? Yeah, that, that was about the beginning. Uh, beginning of twenty three. Um, that that I noticed that that difference. I, I didn't think too much of it at the time. I mean, like, yeah, it was kind of weird, but I was like. Maybe he's just bot pulling. Because at that time, he wouldn't kill him. He would say, hey, there's somebody right there. And then we would go over there as a team and kill him. Yeah. Your Discord's kind of cutting out a little bit. Oh, is it still cutting out? Yeah, it's cutting out just a little bit. It's, um... So like, so you like, you generally didn't have any kind of suspicion at all before you got that message. You like, you didn't have any. I wasn't like full, full suspicion of him. Like I, I did think it was kind of fishy sometimes on some of the calls he was doing, but I mean, I didn't have his POV, so I was like, oh, I, I don't know if he really sees him, so. We kind of just took it at face value. So, like, did, did you... So, like, your entire team would be streaming, but he would be the only one not streaming. And... Like, like... Like, you never had any second thought? You never had, like, you never... No, I... I mean, I, I don't really hold people to stream sharing their screen like that i mean i know some people really really legitimately can't share their screen but yeah i didn't really think nothing of it whenever he said he couldn't okay all right so like for me i could i could sit here and share my screen no issue yeah like this on 1080p like no issue but i mean i'm not playing online so it's like i can't really say what it would be like online I'm playing Clark talk over with a buddy yeah so like something like, like I've got to ask you so you played with him for a very long time like you you know how he plays you you know him personally on, on you know on that level and like he you see all the drama that's going on, you see everything that's happening, and, you know, he, then he sends you the screenshot of him just flat out admitting that he's using, you know, Atomic DMA or, you know, whatever, and then you say, I'm never playing with you again. Like, did you guys speak much after that, or...? I sent a message after that. Uh, let me let me see what I sent. You scroll down in there. Uh, I asked, I was like, "Is your Discord broken? I can't seem to load anything in a Discord." He just said, "Accept the rules," and that was December, uh, December twenty twenty three. That was the last last time I sent a message to him. Haven't really talked to him since. Yeah, like you know, I was like. So being being that you're someone who played with him for such a long time and then he all of a sudden just stopped playing with you and then, you know, went the route that he did. Like do Like like what's your honest opinion? Like him I just, like, I want to understand, because you would know him personally, like, more than anyone else. You would, you would have spent more time, because I know that there's people that I played with on a personal level that I, you know, got to understand me as a friend and got to, like, I want to, uh, like, I want to try to understand how you would have felt on a personal level playing with him for so long and then finally when he told you and, and and how you actually felt like i want to look at like 
Well, when I actually like came to the realization that he was, and like he, he you know, Jimmy was, I felt pretty betrayed on that. Yeah. I mean, if you're playing with somebody that long, and like who knows how long he, he was using prior, um, just like have the courtesy to let let you play with on a regular basis. Like, hey, you can play with me if you want, but I'm doing this, you know, X, Y, Z. Yeah. But obviously didn't have the courtesy to at least do that because now it's like me and the group know like, hey, we really did play with somebody that actually confirmed using something. Your Discord's kind of like cutting in and out, <clears throat> like repeatedly. Sorry. Why it's cutting out? Let me check my beat test. Uh... Beat test. Uh, what did you catch from that? Uh, like the last thing you said was beep test or, or beat test or something. And then it cut out and then it came back. As you said, what did you catch from that? Okay. Is it, is it better now? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I, there's no, like, okay. it's not cutting out at all. Okay. I turned my gain up on there. All right. So, so he. He made you aware that he was doing the wrong thing and, you know, you told him you don't want to play with him again. But I just want to, like, I want to understand, like, your thought process. Like, you played with this guy for a long time and then all of a sudden you find out he's doing the wrong thing. Like, Yeah, when I, when I actually, like, confirmed, realized that he did actually do the wrong thing. Uh, I felt betrayed on it. Um, mainly felt betrayed on it because, I mean, if you're playing with somebody for so long, you know, and become buddies and, you know, you at the time talk to each other almost on a daily basis on a Discord call, uh, on a Discord channel. Yeah. You, you would think they would have the courtesy to be like, hey, by the way, I'm doing this. You could play with me if you want or, you know, I could not use it while we play, you know, but he didn't have that courtesy. Yeah. Um, so like, so have you kept up to date with him playing now and what he's doing now and everything that's going on now? Have you kept up to date with all that? <clears throat> no, the, 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 la the most up to date thing that I seen was, uh, last yesterday, that, the thing that you posted yesterday. Like the video. And, and then that one, yeah. Then when, when I saw the little bush thing, I was like, "Man, I'm a, I'm gonna have to join his Discord and and send him send him the the, the picture of the Discord message." Because I mean, I thought it had stopped. Like you, you, and, you know, after you got banned, that like I thought it stopped. Yeah. What well, like what made you feel like that he'd stopped doing it? Like what made you feel like that? I didn't hear, see much on YouTube or, or hear much of anything about him. Like, so your honest opinion as like, you know, him as a, a man, as a, as your friend, as a man, your honest opinion. Like just, a, just as a person, a person. Yeah, like without yeah, like, no game or nothing. Yeah, no, no game, no online persona, no, none of that bullshit. Your friend. Oh yeah, he's a pretty good dude. Um, glad he's serving the country. Um, so he, because I, I get a lot of people that say to me that he's not actually actively serving. And no, he, he, he was. He is. He, he's actively. He, he, he was. He was. I don't know if he is still now, but uh, when we played together, he was. Yeah. And did you have, like, any kind of, like, proof of that, or...? Uh, no. I mean, he would just always say, hey, I gotta, I gotta wake up for drill in the morning, and I'll, I'll be on tomorrow after, after we get home. Because, I, like, I have a lot of active military guys that message me and say, 
like you know you can't do this when you're active you can't do this and you can't do that and you can't do this and i like i'm not i'm from australia like i i've got no military background whatsoever i've got no family in the military you know and i just i'm like i'm i feel like i'm not when it comes to military and serving your country i feel like i'm not someone who should just possibly dare comment on what that would be like or anything yeah to- i mean i remember the last time we actually played together he was stationed overseas uh he was stationed in south korea um for a little bit uh for like eight seven eight months and then he he got back to the states afterwards and like so you like you're you're confident he's active military at at the time yeah i don't know if he's still active now um i don't know if his contract was up or not but i i know for sure that he, he was he was active duty yeah so he so he's definitely so in your mind he is definitely active military active you know yeah, yeah, he was was actually active, active duty. Yeah, and like he he's not pulling some sort of fake valor stuff on there. Like, no, I I don't do kindly on that because and my my dad was in the military. My dad just retired. Yeah, after forty something years. So I'll say this. I'll say this now. I had some guy, and you know, like I had I had this guy. Okay, he inboxed me. And he said, oh, I know you've been, you know, breaking down suddenly Tosa's gameplay. He's a piece of shit and I want to send you this. And this random guy that I don't know and have no association with whatsoever just sent me his entire, like, his entire, his ID, his military everything his address his military oh, what the hell yeah 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 this this random fucking guy he's like you need to see this i know you're investigating this guy right now and and he sent me his name his address his active military like everything everything and from what i saw he's he is an active military personnel. And I get so many people that ask me, is he actually active military? And I don't answer it. I don't entertain it at all. I just act like, you know, I, I don't know. But this this random guy just sent me his, like, his entire personal information and just everything. And from what I saw... He's actually, he's actually someone serving his country in the military. And, and, and I like, I just thought like, what you're actually doing in life is so like, is so honorable and so like, you're, you're. I mean, I've noticed also other people that serve, like I, I've encountered several other people that they use things in in like Call of Duty or or like some weird games too, like Among Us, and some of them are military. And I mean, when when I ask them, you know, why they do it, they just say they just don't have time to actually play. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, you do you. I mean, but like from this like this personal information that I got sent, he he is, I don't know, it, it like I don't know, but. I just had this random guy send me this information and I I don't know if it is real or if it's not, but from what I read and what I've seen, he's, you know, I believe he's actually, he's act like, I like, I don't have anything other, like, I, I've got nothing to believe that, that, you know, and and I just think to myself in my mind, it's like, you're, you're, you're actively serving your country 
Like that, that is in my mind and what I've achieved in life and what I'm and like what I've done in life, you're serving your country, but yet you're, you're doing this. And it's like, I, I just, I like, I don't understand, like, because in like, from what I've seen and what's been proven to me, he's actually someone who's who's doing that who's doing that and I, I like I just think like why like why why are you doing this you're like I think of me and all of my family and everyone around me and all my friends I know and like to me in my mind serving your country on that level is like that's something to me is like that's like that's like one of like like I just I I see that personally in my mind as like it's just such a like I respect like if someone is I don't I don't care what you fucking do like even if you like you could be the lowest of the low in the military like, you could be a fucking shit kicker. Like, you could be the bottom of the barrel. You could be someone who just literally, I don't fucking know, you know, like, mops floors. If you're in the military and you serve your country, that is, like, the most, like, me as a citizen, like, I'm Australian. I'm Australian. And, you know, obviously Australia has never, like, you know, done anything incredibly fucking noble in the world and achieved anything incredible and saved the globe. But if I, if, like, if I come across a man who is in the military and serves his country, that's, like, that is, like, that's hugely noble. That's, like, you know, you're probably getting the same wage as me but you're serving your country. If it comes down to it and we get... Oh, no, actually, military gets uh, less pay, actually, yeah, starting th- off. There you go, there you go. And it's like, and I think to myself, it's like, if we got to... Attack- unless, you're, unless you're stationed overseas or deployed, that's when the pay goes, like, and through the roof. There you go. And I think to myself, it's like, if we got attacked right now and it came down to it, you would be someone defending like like just in my mind i just like your your like what you do and you know it, it could be in like even in the grand scheme of things in the military you could just be a complete shit kicker but you're the forefront you're defending like i have children like i have i have kids like i have i have children and in my mind, I think if if we get attacked or something happens, I don't give a fuck what level you are in that department. You're someone who's going to protect us. Like your service, no matter how low it is or how high it is, you are like, you're our forefront. Like you are, I respect you. Like, no matter on what level it is. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's me as a citizen. You know what I mean? Like, and, and I just think, like, like, like I don't understand. Like, and then it comes to a video game and just the, and I, like, I, I I truly. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe for for people like that, it's probably like an escape. I I don't know. I mean, I, I just play to play. Yeah, like, uh, like, just when it comes to real life, like I'm, then... I'm in, like I'm in, I'm in law enforcement, so it's for for me, it's, I mean, yeah, I have, I have like actual time to play when yeah. I do have time. Are you? Um, but also, I also have a kid, and then another one coming. So when this other one comes in like a month, uh, there goes my games. <laughs> so that's like that's like that's so. When it comes to military, and the next level is law enforcement. Like, so, 
are you like a police officer or the sheriff? So, okay, so, <laughs> so like in a country, like I, I worked eight years. I work. I worked eight years in in the state prison system, and then did bodyguard work, and then now I'm doing what I do now. Okay, so. <laughs> If it comes down to a country, it's like military, fucking law enforcement. Like, you're the next forefront. That's like the next thing. If you're, if someone like you isn't there, there's no fucking, you're the next forefront after military. And you're the next person I respect after that. And it's like... Yeah, yeah, I respect the fuck out of military. Like, I, I live right next to the, the biggest military installation in the United States. Yeah, um, like... Uh, I'm, I'm not going to say, like, which which installation. I mean, you can look it up and yeah, it'll yeah, pop yeah. up right there. Yeah, uh, and, like... Uh, like, uh, like... If I remember the, correctly, I, th I think he was stationed here before in the past, too. Uh, yeah. Before the, the military base changed the name, if I remember correctly. No, look, um, and, I, and I'll say this now. I'm probably not even going to add this in the video. I'm just going to say this to you now. The amount of times, like, someone in the police force has come to my local community or come to me personally and protected me or my family or my neighborhood or... And it's just like... like and he comes before that. He's like secure, like our country security. And it's just like, like, what, like it's a video game. Like you're beyond and above that in life. Like you're, like, if we get attacked by another country, you're, like, what the fuck, like. I just, I don't understand it, bro. Like, I really, it's hard for me to understand how just, you know, it's like you you have a, a calling in life that's just so much beyond a video game, but yet you, like, with him, for example, it's like, why? Like, why... Is a video game so serious to you, and you're doing the wrong thing, but yet you'll you'll go to that level? 